Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm demonstrating how to reduce noise in your images. And there are two types of noise. Um, firstly, we have colour noise, and um, this is shown as typical colour blotches on the image when you zoom into 100% or higher. Um, perhaps more frequently we see um, what's called luminance noise, and this is um, details and blotches in the image, um, usually when taking photographs in low light using a high ISO setting on the camera. Um, uh, noise can also be introduced when recovering shadows in an, in an image. Um, so let's look at an example, um, opening an image from the file menu. Um, this is an image that was taken indoors without flash and um, if we actually zoom in um, we can start to see some of the noise in the image. You can see the noise in the wall here. Zooming in quite a way, that's 100% and um, you can see the, um, the blotchiness from using a high ISO. Um, the filter menu contains the noise reduction tools so if we go to filter, noise, and reduce noise. Now these sliders do a pretty good job for um, removing colour noise and, um, uh, and preserving detail and letting you adjust the strength. But we only have quite a small um, preview window here. So I want to give you a tip to use the camera raw dialog which opens up much more benefits and gives a larger preview. So I'm going to cancel this and um, close down this image. Now I'm going to open in Camera Raw and um, raw files obviously open automatically in the Camera Raw dialog but for, we can also open JPEGs in the Camera Raw. So go into the menu, click File, Open in Camera Raw and choose the Im image again and click Open and the Camera Raw dialog will launch. Uh, one tip is to always make sure the depth is set to 8 bits per channel. Um, for JPEGs you don't want 16 bits and um, generally in the Photoshop Elements Editor um, there's very limited editing that you can do with 16-bit images. So I always suggest you make sure to start with that it's set to 8 bits per channel. So I'm going to zoom into 100% and again you can see the grain. Let's take it higher than 100%. 200% and you can really see the grain is apparent. Um, as I say we used to call it um, grain in the days of film but calling it noise gives a suggestion that it's something that should be removed. You're probably familiar with the basic panel in Camera Raw if you've used it before so let's scroll down to the detail panel. I've opened up these three sections for sharpening, noise reduction and colour noise reduction and these are quite powerful um, sliders for removing noise in your image and the sharpness section also includes a very useful masking section which is not available in the regular um, noise reduction filter. So let's start by just moving the um, colour noise reduction a touch. I don't think there's very much colour noise in this image, at least I can't see it with my eye. So I'm now going to go to the luminance noise reduction which is this one here. I'm going to back off the detail setting which introduces smoothness so I can see exactly what I'm doing to the noise and just moving it to the right you can see it starts to reduce the luminance noise in the image and um, it gives a smoothing or softening of the, um, of the overall image and you can bring back some of the um, softening by using the detail slider but don't use it too much because you'll start to bring back some of the, the grain that you've removed. And we can use the sharpening and masking to, um, to sharpen things up without sharpening the noise. So let's go to the sharpening. Just moving that a touch opens up the other sliders. I'm going to leave the default settings for radius and detail the same. And when using the masking slider, hold down the Alt key and you'll get a black and white preview. Pushing it all the way to the right, you can see it really smooth things out. And then I start to back off until I start to see the noise coming back. And you can see that's about that point um, there. I think that will do. 
and then we can really push up the sharpness now because it will only sharpen the white edges that we can see in the mask. Again, let's hold down the Alt click, click on the mask and you can see what's being sharpened. None of the noise areas are being sharpened. So we can really push this up quite high. And let's go back to, um, let's go back to 100%. And you can see we have a much nicer image now. The noise has been removed. We've sharpened the detail and um, a very good job, I would say. So that's removing luminous noise. Um, we'll look at another example with some color noise. Once we've um, got the slider settings as we want them, we click open. And that takes the image, the JPEG image, back into the regular editor. And we can do any further editing we want, like adding text or using um, adjustment layers. And we can resave it by using the um, file and save as menu. So let's look at another example, um, this time with some color noise. Um, before doing so, um, can I please ask you to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. There's no cost involved in subscribing. It's just like creating a bookmark. And it helps me with the YouTube algorithm to keep on providing these videos free of charge. So let's go to the menu again. File open as camera raw and browse to the image I want, which is this one here, which was taken in a Roman museum in London. It's quite a dark underground cavern um, with just the um, illuminated sign of Mithras, which is the logo for the public museum. And um, I'm going to zoom into um, 100%. And now you can start to see the, the color noise in this image. So let's scroll down again and open the detail panel. In fact, I'm going to open all three, sharpening, noise reduction and colour reduction. So let's start by moving the colour reduction slider. And you can see, just moving it a little bit, it gets rid of the, um, the, the colour noise immediately. It does a pretty good, pretty good job. Um, the default for the detail, I'm going to move back the detail slider because and the smoothness slider. Um, because I want this set at zero so I can really see how it's affecting the actual colour noise. Um, back in off, you can see the noise coming back again. It's just trial and error really to get it um, as best as possible. Now we have some, um, I think also some you can see up here as well as um, the colour noise which we've removed. Um, we've got some luminance noise. I'm going to move the luminance noise slider now to to get rid of the loom and you can see it's doing a smoothing job and that's what noise reduction does it tends to do a a smoothing job and the detail um, brings back some of the information that has been smoothed out but we need to be careful not to bring back the noise by the, the detail with the detail slider and once again i'm going to use the sharpening and masking um, uh, panel just uh, Moving the sharpening slider opens up the other sliders. The radius 1 and detail, I will leave it at the default of 25. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key so we can see the masking. And if I move the masking slider to the right, everything in black is masked and everything in white will be sharpened. And um, the, 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 that, that's the detail I want to see. So I'm, I'm going to move it quite all the way to the right and you can really see what it has done. And then I tend to back off until the point where I start to bring back the noise and I mean some of that is grain in the actual Roman walls um, and the top left you can see the noise so I'm, I'm going to set it about there I don't want to do it too much and let's zoom out to one to one and you can see I think this image is much better that's had the color noise reduction removed first and then the remaining luminance noise and using the masking and sharpening panel and we can push up the sharpening now that we've masked quite a way. And um, you can see it's only sharpening the edges. And we can get a really, really good result without bringing back any of the noise. You can see zooming back in, most of the noise has gone. And um, that's using Camera Raw, which I hope you like. 
I appreciate your views on these tutorials, so um, please let me know in the comments section below the um, below the video. And uh, if you have any ideas for future tu tutorials, you can also leave comments to um, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching and bye-bye for now. See you next time.